Ron Placone, you know him, returning champion, uh, co- uh, guest host of Status Quo frequently, uh, uh, host of the Ron Placone Show, and Helen Hong, another uh, great comedian, uh, infamously, she should have been the star, I say, of HBO's Silicon Valley. Uh, I, I remember now uh, watching that, and I love your work. Uh, Ron, Helen, uh, I know what I know and I know what I don't know. I'm no comedian, so I'm going to kind of just toss to our clips here and let you take over. Uh, we're, we want to build up to the DNC. Uh, you know, I don't want to go full throttle on Oprah yet. So we're going to start with, uh, shall we say, some sewer moments from the RNC. Uh, let's take a, take, a, take a look and you guys can talk over it. Pause. Uh, do your thing. Toe in the dirty water first. <laughs> Shout We've heard about that. villains and their victims. I've talked a lot about that, but let me tell you about the future. President Trump's vision is so simple and yet so powerful. We're done. It, it's simple. I don't know about catering powerful. To Wall Street. We'll commit to the working man. We're done importing foreign labor. We're going to fight for American citizens and their good jobs and their good wages. We're going to build factories again. Put people to work making real products for American families made with the hands of American workers. Together, He's just putting words together that people will like. Factories, you like those, right? We will protect the wages of American workers and stop the Chinese Communist Party from building their middle class on the backs of American citizens. I'm wearing a bandage on my right ear and standing in solidarity with President Trump. There they they why why does why does there you are there you are Helen I have a why does JD Vance always look like he just got done telling a judge she told me she was 18. (laughs) That's just the look he looked like he's about to tell me that I'm misinterpreting Jordan Peterson. Like he looks like he's about to he's a great philosopher of our time. Exactly right. Don't get it. Exactly. What was I supposed to check her ID? Come on. She had boobs, um, <laughs> but I love also this whole like the the napkin on the ear. Everybody was like, "I need a nap." I can. I, do you have a white napkin and some scotch tape for my ear? Like this is. I love that this is the new like. This is our emblem. I the thought it was a tea bag napkin. at first. <laughs> I thought it was a tea party thing. I was like, "Oh, I thought I thought the bag and the tea party were quite no, the same." But no, it's, not, it's uh... they, they, they 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 don't have that much forward thought. Come on, it's not <laughs> that, that that would actually have some sort of like deeper implication. No, they're like the napkin on the ear. This, yeah, you know, it doesn't wearing, even look like an ear on my right ear and standing in solidarity with President Trump. Did you realize that this was a tragedy yeah. that should have never I happened? I thought it was easy to And we spot. want him to know that we are going through this with him, that we honor him, that we respect him. We're behind him. We're in it for the fight. As they come in, more and more want to wear it. it right it's now, like, taking the it, same as you time, Governor West We're like, Virginia, we need another option to show the world the what doofuses we are than the red hat. We'll go with the napkin on the air. Someone, someone's going to ruin that one guy's day when they tell him, hey, if you wear the napkin on the right side, it means you're gay. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> I love it. You're strong. Yep. <laughs> you're strong. So the whole thing was, listen, I'm coming to you from Vegas. And like, I, you know, I'm a performer in Las Vegas. And a lot of these variety shows are like that, 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 that. This stuff takes the cake. The oh, art yeah. like beats anything that's going on in Vegas right now for sheer like that, 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 Baby dog that, that. joining him on stage tonight. Hello, everybody. Ooh, this is my favorite. I'm Jim movie. Justice. And I'm from West Virginia. And I absolutely believe with all my soul, we've got the greatest people in the world in West Virginia. Oh, this is my favorite moment. This is, just, this is like the Carlton Heston moment. You didn't moment. really expect that, did you? He's really proud so of with himself. With that being said, let me just <laughs> say just really this. really proud of this. She makes us smile. And she loves everybody. And how could the message possibly be any more simpler than just that? Well, let's For make him the nominee. Of love and support following the <laughs> I, assassination. I think he sounds like he was supposed to be there, but no one told him until the last minute. <laughs> 
like, like, like 10 minutes before the event, they were the like, Jim. was like, what? <laughs> Jim, you got to do a thing. Like, I don't have anything prepared. I'm bringing my dog. All right. Because I got nothing. <laughs> the dog just... also looked like he was like, wait, what's happening? Like, I was asleep in a hotel this? room. <laughs> Where are you I... working in, Ve- in Vegas, by the way? Quick aside. Where are you working? I'm working at, at the Comedy Cellar in nice. uh, the Comedy Cellar in Las Vegas. And let me tell you, I, I wish I was at the RNC because what I, I, I am the DNC because, well, the RNC was funnier. The DNC is sadder. So I guess it's. That's a, that's a fair assessment. That I mean, yeah, Kid Rock lip syncing to a half full room was pretty freaking funny, and, and then Hulk Hogan ripping off the shirt, and it, and it looks like he might have soiled himself through that oh process. Pretty freaking funny. Amazing. But <laughs> here he is, ear napkin. Mr. There's the guy. There's Chief the ear napkin. Ear napkin in chief is here. Let's play the tape. Let's play the tape. At my rally on Saturday. Despite such a heinous attack, we unite this evening more determined than ever. Tragically, the shooter claimed the life of one of our fellow Americans, Corey Comparator. He lost his life selflessly acting as a human shield to protect them from flying bullets. He went right over the top of them and was hit. What? (laughs) He kissed the fire helmet. What? Like you do. Like you a do. A man who survived a bullet there it that is. was intended to eliminate him permanently from our future and from our family. Never. <laughs> Donald, I feel like every time Donald Trump speaks now, he looks like he just he just got in way over his head. Like he just wanted to start a TV network eight oh, years ago. Know. Oh, yeah. But he's now? still, he's still having to do that. Now? <laughs> It, it's just it's just full mask off now. Like, like, like he hit it well during the term, but and now he, it's just he's not even trying. He's just like, I mean, he's just going to go off. Of, you know, it's really neat. You can get an Amazon Prime delivery in one day. That's what I, I, I made that happen. That was I me. love that he couldn't even remember the name of the guy who died, literally trying to <laughs> protect his life. He's like, Corey. He's like clearly reading it off the teleprompter like Corey. Uh, is that a C or <laughs> how does that, uh, you know what, whatever. Uh, let's He's just, the best, Corey. He has all the best the letters best in his name. You know, the, we, he, he gave his life in front of the bullets. I don't, I don't know. Again, again, this whole convention was just like, let's just string words together. And people like these certain words and let's just string them together. Factories, yeah. Patriot, yeah. Patriot Factory, American. bullets. Yeah. Okay. Gun love. Have and I then here's Cocaine Junior. But what happened? There last he is, week uh, the Hulk. When they took a shot at uh, my hero. He he's struggling through this, I think. And they tried this to is kill not the next president of the United States. He's moving the gold chain. He doesn't want to set up. This was like, how, how should have applied would you make this shirt for him to actually My name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur. Oh, like- Amber Thank Rose you. was such a disappointment to me. I mean, because, you know, for a I'm minute, a can we pause the tape? I'm here tonight. You don't know Amber Rose. She was like, she was this champion of sex positivity. And this was like, you know, um, you know, she she started the slut walk and she was like, guess what, girl? Slut, you, you can you can go on with your slut walk, but if you happen to get pregnant, you keep in the baby with them. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep the baby. You stuck with the baby, girl. I just so, do you think after Hulk Hogan ripped open his thing, like a bunch of people called Mike Judge the next day and asked what lottery numbers to play? <laughs> you know, like they're just like idiocracy came to life. You have a vision. We trust you. Why am I big now? What's happening? <laughs> Jordan's here. <laughs> I was actually like LOLing during that. You know, you lie to people and say LOL. I was actually laughing out loud. Aww. So thank you. Uh, moving on to the sadness, uh, including Oprah. Um, we now are in the midst of the Democratic National Theater. Uh, it is a uh, multi-million dollar spectacular. Uh, we also had uh, John Legend on stage, uh, among others, Stevie Wonder. Uh, so it's been a real, real uh real real spectacle uh you know, but there's I will, been i will say as tragic as the dnc is at least the celebs are better you know oh absolutely <laughs> absolutely the that is true. Uh, are, are more high quality and I, i'll tell you i was saying i mean forget politics that oprah she she can give a speech 
Uh, I, I was I was ready to go, and I wanted a car. I wanted a free car too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's. Uh, It'd be to funny the... if she gave away free cars, but only to members of Congress. Yes. No one else got one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know that Hulk Hogan turn. By the way, I was a WWF fan back in the day, and I thought it couldn't get worse than him turning like a bad guy in the WWF. But then he actually went to Trump's RNC. So it did get worse, but I digress. Uh, now I want to turn to this, this week, uh, this week, I'm going to step aside and, and let you two uh, riff off of uh, the party of the people. In quotes. And let us choose optimism over cynicism because that's the best of America. Okay, can we just and pause here? In- I just performed in Maui, like on the island of Maui. And I actually have a joke in my act where I reference Oprah Winfrey, how I want to be the Korean Oprah Winfrey. And as soon as I said her name, everybody in the crowd went, boo, <laughs> boo, girl, you got no fans on in your home turf because you're buying up indigenous land. You're buying up the entire island. You're just as bad as Mark Zuckerberg. And as much as you want to be like, you're a person, you're a woman of the people and you get a car and you get a car and you get a car you get a car i get an island i get an island i get your indigenous island that's oprah right now so i don't know (laughs) what i don't know if you still think oprah is a woman of the people Mm, good luck to you over retribution let us choose common sense over nonsense He was, he was proud of that one. Because yeah. that's Common the sense of over nonsense. Yeah, yeah. It, it is clever. He was like, and let us like, choose it. the sweet promise of tomorrow over the bitter return to yesterday. We won't go back. We won't be set back, pushed back, bullied back, kicked back. We're not going back. Girl. Let us choose. Let us choose. I mean, truth. this was the woman who, like, almost honor. single-handedly. And let us choose joy. Whoa. <laughs> Finds joy. You know what? Can we pause the tape? Just- like, yeah, it's it's awesome. You, sure, you can choose joy, billionaire Oprah. And, you know, it's easy to choose joy. Not so much when you're a, a, a Gazan baby being murdered. You know, not so much if you care about gods and babies, choose and joy. Choose and joy is not just like, you know what? I feel like I'm going to choose joy today. Not well, so much if you're homeless. Not so much if you're struggling with inflation and can't buy groceries. You know what? I don't need to eat because eggs are $12 a carton. I'm just going to choose joy. Cue dope, Rebel. We live, well, that's the thing. live in the real world. See, that's what the acapella moments are for. You go, <laughs> gods of baby, homelessness. And she goes, la, 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 la. Choose and joy, choose and joy. Don't care about dead babies in Gaza. Okay, great. Great. More. He thought that was going to get a laugh. It didn't, she- though. It, it, there was no context with it. He, <laughs> yeah, he should have had someone write for him. Stands up to bullies just like my parents taught me to. She likes to see people do well. Yeah, he needed he needed one of those but giant hates applause when they're signs. Unfairly. She believes this work requires a basic curiosity and just how people are. Her empathy is her. Strength. He thought that was going to get a laugh. It did not. He he's. Over the last decade, Kamala has connected me more deeply to my faith. Even though it's not answer. I'm sick of her and I go to church with her for Easter. Kamala has fought against anti-Semitism and all forms of hate her whole career. She's the one who encouraged me as uh, second gentleman to take up that fight, mm-hmm. which is so personal to me. In Kamala Harris. We have a chance to elect a president who is for the middle class because she is from the middle class. She understands the urgency of rent checks and groceries and prescriptions. She is as committed to our reproductive and civil rights as she is to taking on corporate greed. And she's okay. working can we pause? 
and that's... look up the word tirelessly because I think <laughs> <laughs> I I'm sorry, tire whatly. <laughs> Does what tireless me <laughs> mean not at all? Does Did tirelessly I tirelessly mean maybe four minutes in the, the last year? Because <laughs> that's that I don't find that tired. That's not that tireless. This t AOC speech honestly was the most depressing moment for me because you know she was a squad leader. She was like. You know, she was our girl. She was like, we had like someone who was a truth teller. And then she just somehow sold out for this whole thing. And to see a member of the squad, and I think other members of the, of the squad is, are calling her out. Do you, do you think, do you think Omar's thing was kind of subtly pointed at her? <laughs> I, I know, I know that people are split on whether it was or not. I don't know if it was that subtle. I think, I think, I think she was like, girl. What you doing, girl? I think that, <laughs> that's how subtle it was. Girl, AOC, what you doing? Yeah, because, you know, AOC is such a, a compelling speaker and her story is so compelling and her history is so compelling. And she's just such a great, like, motivator. But for her to be a, a shill for Kamala hey, and to say, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. and before that, it was for Biden. Like, she's just whoever's yeah, at just, the top. She's uh, just all on board now. And it's yeah. Squad on squad violence. That's what's <laughs> happening <laughs> right now. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Are we going back? I'm tired about, of hearing about how a two bit union buster thinks of himself as more of a patriot than the woman who fights every single day. I think I think the more she uses her arm. Wait, pause it for a second. I don't want to miss a moment of this. I think the more AOC uses her arms, the more she's not convinced by what she's saying. I like the agree. more the more it's like she's folded this in. This is a play. The more she uses her arms. This is if something. You, this is something we do in stand up comedy. Like if I don't, if I've written a new bit and I don't believe in it, I'm just. I'm selling it. You know. Yeah. I'm like, I, hey, this is a joke. You guys see the joke of it. The These are the punchlines <laughs> I'm not sure of. <laughs> oh, God. All right, time Here for Hillary. Are. Here we are. Justice from chaos and corruption. I see the freedom to look our children in the eye and say, in America, you can go as far as your hard work and talent will uh, take you really? and mean it. And you know what? Unless you're homeless. On the other side of that glass ceiling is Kamala Harris raising her hand and taking the oath of office as our 47th president of the United uh, States. We ran for president in 2020 because of what oh, I that's saw why. in Charlottesville. That, that's why. Okay. <laughs> in August Me of story. 2017, extremists coming out of the woods, carrying <laughs> torches. Their veins bulging from their necks, carrying Nazi swastikas and chanting the same exact anti-Semitic bile that was heard in Germany in the early 30s. Neo-Nazis, white supremacists, oh, God. And the Ku Klux yes. Klan, so emboldened by a president then in the White House that they saw as an ally they didn't even bother to wear their hoods. He's really milking this. He's, he's like, <laughs> hey, this is something people think that I'm equal. I, you Calls know, America part of me failing thought, nation. Once he stopped, no, I'm you know, part think, of me hoped, like, but think about it. Part of me was hoping that once he was not going to run again, he'd be like, okay, you know what? I don't need, like, I don't need j big Jewish donors anymore. And maybe then we could, now we can actually like get real and like tackle like Palestine. But no, he's still dog whistling like the anti Semitism and the Nazis. And then no, no, like, even in his like hazy old man fog, he's like, and the Jewish money. I love well, it. he's got he's got to milk the things that people will like. Like he doesn't want to bring that other stuff up. So he's like Charlottesville, and yeah, like yeah, nobody like, likes oh, yeah. that. And he's like <laughs> neo Nazis, Ku Klux Klan. They're like yeah, yeah nobody nerves. likes that. All right, and it, when I saw that, that's why I decided to run. That was it. That was that was the decider for me. Yeah, it wasn't a it wasn't like a seventy year career plan. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> it wasn't what I had planned all along for literally 70 years, my entire white privileged life. There but... weren't many failed attempts, and this was the <laughs> last chance to fail up. He publicly says to the whole world, I'm going to say something outrageous. I know more foreign leaders by their first names and know them well than anybody live. Just you don't I'm remember so anyone's first name. <laughs> January 6th was a perilous moment for our democracy. Oh, God. Never before had There's a president of like the United the... States so brazenly assaulted the bedrock of our democracy, more so gleefully embraced political Multiplied violence, by so willfully yeah. betrayed his oath that of office. Is Taylor. Let us not forget who assaulted democracy on January 6th. This he is like... did. Did they say anything about what they're going to do for people? But let us not forget who saved Can democracy count, that day. We paused for a second. We did. Like, Only we personal vanity. The age of everyone oh, who's there. spoken. Like, like, let's count up the ages of everyone who's spoken so far at the DNC. And, and it's like, like, like ancient white person after ancient white person <laughs> after ancient white person is like, I got the answer and I'm going to tell you how to vote. And this is, yeah. January 6th, am I right? Grand, Grandpa, no. do what Grandpa's telling you. And just and, and just do, do do it the way we did it. They you didn't know. wear their hoods. <laughs> they were just hoodless, and their necks were big. <laughs> like the hair on my legs. And they're... Ah. Oh, God, Bill. Anyway, you know the thing. Is I'm still younger than Donald Trump. Look, you gotta give him. He's a good actor. With its... <laughs> With a straight face, he cited as evidence of the respect that existed for us when he was there. Old the Bill Clinton is just creepy. Of North yeah. Korea I mean, he was always creepy, Russia. but old Bill Clinton is really, really creepy. Yeah. Other countries. Like old the, Bill. The, the, any, any, know, like, any, like. Whether they agree like, with you or not, what are they supposed to make? Hated him away. To these endless no riz, no riz anymore. To the late, no, late old Bill Clinton is like old rockabilly musician who got canceled because he dated his thirteen-year-old cousin. Like that's old <laughs> Bill Clinton. That's the vibe he gives. It's super creepy. Uh, uh, I. I will be I will be contacting both of your agents for a weekly spot uh, where we just run Fox News and Rachel Maddow clips and uh, get your reaction because that was comedic. That was comedic gold. Unbelievable. <laughs> I uh, still, way, I, I, out of all those videos, I still say, let's make the dog the nominee <laughs> for both, yes. on both sides. I will vote for the English Bulldog over everyone I, else who spoke on stage. And on you know what? The English Bulldog is not voting Republican. That's the other ironic thing. <laughs> and by He's the like, way, he made uh, me be here. Governor Jim Justice, his dog has paid more taxes than him, who has dodged $500 <laughs> million <laughs> in taxes. And uh, I should also mention AOC might want to look up middle class because Kamala Harris grew up in Berkeley with two prof two parents, she is uh, professors, mm -hmm. prof uh, professors with graduate degrees. Not knocking it, but not exactly Again, middle class. Of, what do you she mean? She's doing a lot of. Doing a lot of like, I believe it. No, I'm, I'm believing it. I'm believing it. Uh, Helen, ladies first. Tell people uh, where they could find uh, where you're coming next uh, <laughs> and where they could find your act. Please follow me on all the socials at. Funny Helen Hong, because there's some other woman named Helen Hong who has all my handles and I haven't found her yet. Um, so at Funny Helen Hong and you can find my tour dates there and uh, come see me. And and we need to laugh because to, we, we, to keep from crying, there's a lot of crying. Uh and, it, and if people will fund status quo as paying members, I will go to investigate what Oprah is doing in Maui. That sounds scandalous. <laughs> nice. So I, I will get on that. Yeah, uh, Ron, there's no fans on Maui, I can tell you for a fact. <laughs> uh, Ron Placone, tell, tell, tell everybody where they can find you. You can follow me at Ron Placone on all socials. Uh, I have a movie coming out soon called Left at Wall. Our last screening is September 21st in London. So if you're in London, grab tickets for that. I'll be there September 21st, London. And uh, the movie should be out everywhere soon. So romplacone.com for tickets and everything. And Helen, I'm a big fan. Good to cross paths with you again. Thank and you hope see. we do again soon. Thank you. Come on. Let's, Thanks, guys. Let's seriously get back on track with this. this all of this bullshit. <laughs> Put that in your bumper sticker. All right. Thank you. <laughs>